Okay, so first capacitor, Q1 equals C1 V1, Q2 equals C2 V2. Of course, V1 equals V2, so that's C1 V, that's the C2 V. Right? Okay, what's the total charge that's stored? Is it not the same? You got charge Q1. Well, first of all, Q1 is not the same as Q2. It is here because you've got no accumulation of charge between here, okay? Say you just hook something up and start separating charge, right? Okay, how much charge ends up being separated to get to voltage V? Well, you got to pull this much charge off the first capacitor and deposit it over here, let's say. Right. And you got to do the same off of this capacitor, right? So, how much charge would have to flow? It'd be some of these two, right? right. Okay. So, total charge transferred, now that, I don't want to write out all the words, but talk about total charge transferred from an initially uncharged state, right? Okay. Um, Q1 plus Q2. There's your premise. So over here your premise is the charges are equal. Over here your premise is that the voltages are equal. Well then, what's the net capacitance? You know how much charge has been transferred, right? What's the voltage across this thing? 